good day all and welcome to another episode of maxi health tip channel i am abo root and i'm a registered nurse on this very episode we'll be talking on the health benefit of scent leave the osimun gratisimun in nigeria the Igbos call it ahuju on chow the yorubas call it the ethyrene why the alsas call it the daidoya this plant the scent leaf has so many health benefits it's antibacterial it's lavicidal in action it has an antipyretic effect it has an antifungal effect and then it contains so many compounds like the phenols the tannins calcium phosphorus iron vitamin a and so many other compounds that gives it this health benefit Number one health benefit of scent leaf is that it helps in maintenance of the eyes. As earlier mentioned, this scent leaf contains vitamin A and vitamin A is known to improve vision. And also, by preventing the drying up of the eyes, which is what we call the zero thermia. So when you take your scent leaf, in which either way, is either you are boiling it and drinking the juice or you are eating it like that. In whatever you, way you want to take it, once you take it, it gives you vitamin A and then it improves your vision. The number two health benefit is that it improves heart function. It contains two compounds, the magnesium and the calcium. These two substances, they lower the low density lipoproteins. And these low, low density lipoproteins are known to, when they accumulate in your body, they increase your risk for cardiovascular diseases. So then when you take this scent leaf and it gives you these two substances, it will lower this low density, it will decrease or lower this uh, low density lipoproteins, thereby preventing coronary heart disease. Another health benefit is that it helps in digestion. So whether you are having a bloated stomach or you are having indigestion, once you take this scent leaf in whatever way you want to prepare it, it helps in evacuation of the bowel, thereby giving you the soothing, thereby relieving you of indigestion. Then also it's known to relieve heartburn too, damage. Another benefit is that it lowers blood sugar. It has this anti-diabetic effect. Some persons don't want to treat like that. Some other persons would prefer to squeeze out the juice. Whatever way you want to do it, once you take it, it lowers your blood sugar and also it decreases the two pancreatic islets that produces insulin. It acts as insect repellent, whether it's mosquito, housefly, any insect. It contains uh, it contains comfort, limonene, cinnamon. Is this three substances that gives it this? the smell that helps it in repelling this house fly so what you do is that you drop it at different points in your house to act as incense repellent it helps in the treatment of fungal infection i earlier mentioned that it has um, an antifungal effect so when you have any skin infection what you just do is to apply it on your skin like when you crush it then you apply it on your skin it's known to have an effect on fungi such as the penicillin, the candida albicans, and the microsporum justum. So then when you have any skin infection caused by any of these fungi, what you just do is apply it on your skin or that affected area and it clears off. Another benefit is heart. It helps in treatment of diarrhea. What you do is that you boil it with ethanol at 100 degrees Celsius and then you take it. Because of its antimicrobial effect, it's known to have an effect on microorganisms or, or bacteria that cause this diarrhea bacteria like the staphylococcus aureus the Escherichia coli the salmonella sp and the shigella sp so what you do is you just drink it drink the juice and then your diarrhea is gone it also has an anti-inflammatory property and the good thing about it is that it doesn't have this side effects that some of the inflammatory drugs like the ibuprofen has it's very kind to the stomach lining it doesn't ulcerate the stomach lining just like the other anti-inflammatory drugs it helps in treatment of respiratory disorders any form of respiratory disorder whether it's um, affecting the nose tree any part of the respiratory system once you take it in whatever way you whether you extract it or it's like that then it's also known that when you get sensitive and you perceive it it helps in clearing blocked nose trees it promotes oral hygiene another benefit is that it promotes oral hygiene because of its antibacterial effects when you chew it it will 
kill those bacteria that are supposed to cause tooth decay and cause bad breath for you, thereby improving your oral hygiene. Another benefit is that it has a wound healing property. That antimicrobial effect it has, once you apply scent leaf on any wound you have, what it does is that it will kill those microorganisms that are supposed to cause infection. And once a wound is free from infection, the wound will always heal very fast. Then another, another property it has that gives it this wound healing action is that it increases blood flow. And once there's enough blood flowing to um, an area where there's an injury, area the wound is known to heal faster. Another, another benefit it has is that it can be used as it can be used in food preservation. What you just do is mix it with ethanol and then you sprinkle it on the food. Those microorganisms that are supposed to cause damage to the food, it will kill it off, thereby preserving your food for you. And also, it's very cost effective because you can find it living in just any area. Then, another benefit it has is it's a source of aromatics and oil because you know that scent leaf has this nice smell so people tend to use it to produce soaps perfume ointments and aromatherapy oils this aromatherapy oil is, is mostly used in massage there are so many other benefits of scent leaf including it helps in the reduction of nicotine level and then ceremonial washing of corpses especially in indonesia thank you for following us through this episode Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and click on that notification bell to get notified when we post our videos. Thank you.